This is CBS. This is crack, rock cocaine. It isn't glamorous or cool or kid stuff. It's the most addictive kind of cocaine and it can kill you. What's really bad is nobody knows how much it takes. So every time you use it, you risk dying. It isn't worth it. Look, everybody wants to be cool, but doing it with crack isn't just wrong could be dead wrong. She loves the water in the sea. Tropical rubber duck dolly, rubber duck dolly. She's got little slippers and she's got a kid. She goes underwater. Glub, glub, glub. She swims Tropical Rubber Dub Dolly. Inside or out, she'll love to swim with you. Tropical Rubber Dub Dolly, we love you. Tropical Rubber Dub Dolly comes with slippers, goggles, and everything you see. New from the Ideal Nursery. Once upon a day after school, the Golden Boys really wanted those golden, good golden grand. Oh, no. He had to have that sweet taste of money. He'd do anything for that great grand for crunch. Or he couldn't live happily after school. Hey! Golden Grahams! You're not just good, you're golden! Golden Grahams, the golden part of your complete breakfast. Nobody throws a party like Play-Doh! Nobody. Nobody makes a birthday hey. like Play-Doh! Nobody has feelings! Hey. Watching a present with a bow! A candle so you can make a wish and blow! Fun, silly scoops, and rainbow packies sold separately, only from Play Doh. Out of the clouds, out of the blue, riders in the sky. Out of the west, coming to you, riders in the sky. Ranger Dad, Two Slam, and Woody Paul. At the Harmony Ranch, we're inviting you all. Join the round of today, it's the Cowboy Way with Riders in the Sky. Yeah! Give me up! The Gallop Away with Riders in the Sky. Holy, 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 Riders in the Sky. Come on and ride with Riders in the Sky. The great big western howdy buckaroos and buckarettes. I bet you wonder why we're whispering, Saddle Pals. I know I am. We're whispering because we don't want Sourdough to hear us. Thanks, Buffalo Bill. I knew there was a good explanation, Saddle Pals. Why don't we want Sourdough to hear us? Because, Woody Paul, today's our old sidekick's birthday. Yep, it's Sourdough's birthday, and we don't want him to know. Why don't we want him to know it's his birthday? He knows it's his birthday, Woody Paul. We don't want him to know about the surprise party we're having for him. Oh, right. And that's why we're whispering, isn't it? Right! right. Sometimes I think they named him Woody, because that's what he is between the ears. Ah, ah, ah. I resent that remark, Two Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, here come the saddle pals. Shh! Meet us by the, the corral! corral. They're going to take Sourdough to school with him so we can fix up the party without him knowing about it. Anybody see Sourdough? Looks like the coast is clear. Let's move out. Fancy critters, drink up! <laughs> you know what today is? Oh, 
Hey, Saddle Pals, you know what to do, don't you? Sure do, Ranger Doug. Party plan phase one. Take Sauro to school with us. Party plan phase two. Signal you by yodeling when we bring you back to the ranch. Party plan phase three. Party! Yay! It's gonna be great. I'm a real party animal. <laughs> <laughs> I love parties too. I'm a real party succulent. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Ranger Doug, do you think we have time to see one of those exciting cliffhanger adventures of Riders in the Sky? Yeah! yeah. I think so, Bobby. What do you call it? Twirl that magic lasso. Ooh. Ah. And now it's time for another exciting adventure of Riders in the Sky! Today's epic. Wait a minute, I'm not supposed to be on camera. I'm a voiceover announcer. Okay, but if I'm on camera, you'll have to pay me more money. Me and my big mouth. Today's episode, Riders in the Sky versus Tunga Tahunga. Our story begins in the unlikely location of a produce section of a shopateria, where our heroes are perusing pineapples, browsing broccoli, scanning squash. We're, We're shopping. shopping. That's them. They're Riders in the Sky. Yep. Looks like we've got some pens here, boys. Guess we better get out our autograph pens. It sure is nice being recognized. Of course, sometimes it's nicer than other times. Let's get them! Gosh, Ranger Doug, now I know how Metallica must have felt after the Kiwanis Club pancake breakfast. I don't think they like us. Yeah, I don't think they like us a lot. But why? Maybe they think we're aliens from outer space here to ruin their lives. <laughs> Good one, Ranger Doug. <laughs> aliens from outer space. What would make them think that? <laughs> Maybe this has something to do with it. It looks like that super villainous Tunga Tahunga is up to her old tricks. Meanwhile, on the other side of town, the twisted tall tale teller and editor of the Tahunga Tongue, Tunga Tahunga, is enjoying our hero's newfound unpopularity. <laughs> Ooh, there's nothing juicier than a juicy headline. <laughs> I'll bet I've just absolutely ruined the reputation of those squeaky clean cowboys. Ooh, I could just kiss myself. And I could, too. Take my picture, Jimmy. Take a memo, Lois. <laughs> you can stop your posing, Tunga. Yeah, you're already posing as a reporter, and you're nothing more than a, a, a big fib teller. And just what are you going to do about it? We're going to expose your newspaper for the no-good gossip rag that it is. We'll put you out of business, Tunga. Unless I put you out of business first. Flash him, Jimmy! Oh, 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 oh. How about a tongue twister, boy? These buds are for you! <laughs> Oblivion? Are they finally licked? You'll see for yourself next time in Tongue Depressing or The Taste of Danger on the next exciting adventures of Riders in the Sky! Gosh, there goes the school bell. We better get going. Gosh, you're right, Butch. Party plan phase one. What to do, Sally? Sourdough, do you think you could take us to school? We sure, Saddle Pals, be happy to. Gosh, Key! See y'all later. <laughs> Are you sure there isn't something you want to say to me before we get going? No, I can't no. think of anything. Have a nice trip to town. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. Come on, Saddle Pals. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.
Riders in the Sky will return after these messages. Crayola, Crayola, rock! Crayola crayons let you rock. Crayola markers let you roll. Crayola, Crayola, rock! Crayola crayons and markers. You don't just draw with them, you rock and roll with them. Crayola, Crayola rocks. Once I had some cupcakes, now I have lots of friends with three different kinds of cupcakes. <laughs> the surprises never end. My cupcakes sparkle. Sparkles on their gowns and hats. Sparkly hair, sugar and shine. Mine's cute and fruity. Fruit colored dresses with curls to match. Look, candy sprinkle cupcakes. With cupcakes, the surprises never end. <laughs> candy sprinkle, sugar and shine, and cutie fruity cupcakes. Each sold separately. I can make my baby laugh, can you? I make her feel better when she's blue. Magic bottle baby toddler and newborn. When you press the buttons, you can choose whether they'll laugh, cry, drink, even burp. Magic bottle, baby, toddler, and newborn. Each sold separately. Batteries not included. New from Tyco. And now back to more fun with Riders in the Sky. Come and get it! Let's giddy up, kids! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the Wild West Puppet Saloon is wilder than weeds today. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, teacher's pet, we mustn't say anything to Sourdough about his birthday or we'll ruin the surprise. I'll remember, teacher. I never forget anything. Oh, well, that's right, you don't. That's one of your more annoying, <laughs> well, I mean endearing qualities. Thank you, Miss Adformata. You're welcome, teacher's pet. Oh, and thank you for not bringing me a present today. You really have been overly generous. But I did bring you a present, teacher. Look out the window. <laughs> the cows. <laughs> well, how elaborate, teacher's pet. A herd of cattle all for me. Oh, goodness. Well, I'll have to stop in at the pet store and pick up some uh, chew toys. Oh, dear. I hope they've been spayed and neutered. Why, everything looks perfect, doesn't it, Wyatt? Uh, it sure does, honey bunch. Uh. Oh, you frighten Harry, my little darlings. It isn't time for the surprise yet, is it, Ranger Doug? Your puppet mom is right, Miss Calamity and Miss Commotion. But I must say, you look prettier than a prairie sunset in your party hats. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a copy of Villain Magazine, Mr. Slocum. Get that to me. Oh, look, you've got teen smudges all over it. Oh, it's so hard to find good rock and roll pony express riders these days. And here's something for you, Muley. Gosh, for more? I'll take that. Later, evil guys. Later, Axel. <gasps> it's an invitation to a surprise party for that goody goody geezer sourdough. Oh, goody good. What do you mean? I wasn't invited. Oh, I mean, baddie, bad, baddie. Bad, bad. Well, we'll see about this. Not inviting me. How dare those cowboys? I'll get even with them. I'll crash their silly party and ruin everything. Uh, oh, I'm going to that party, all right. Wild horses couldn't keep me from showing up at a party. I'm not invited. I forgot something, Mr. Slocum. Here's an invitation for you two. Oh, well, in that case, um, I'm not going. <laughs> I am the original party pooper. Hey, Saddle Pals, look who's here to help me make a birthday cake for old Sourdough. 
It is I, Senor, Senor. Senor, Senor is here to help me because mine didn't turn out like I planned it exactly. Did it, Mr. Adler? No, I don't say that's a real nightmare on Cake Street. <laughs> so, I'm showing to Slim how to make ice cream cone birthday cakes. Just like my sainted mother used to make for me and my little sister. I didn't know you had a little sister, senor, senor. What's her name? Senorita, senorita. Ah, that was going to be my first guess. Well, we have everything we need all laid out here. The ice cream cones. Use the ones with the flat bottoms so they stand up in the muffin pan. Yes, here's our muffin pan, and we've got some cake mix already mixed up. You can ask your mom and dad to show you how to mix it. Some frosting mix, and because these are birthday ice cream cone cakes, I brought some velas. Candles! When too slim makes a birthday cake, the candles are usually the most delicious part of it. <laughs> Oh, don't mind Mr. Adler, senor, senor. He's always joking. <laughs> Except when I'm eating two slims cooking, then I'm usually choking. <laughs> He's such a kidder. <laughs> First, you spoon in the cake mix until the cones are a little bit more than half full. Then you put the ice cream cone in the muffin pan like this. And then, we'll put them into the oven. You can ask your mom and dad to help. And then we'll just bake according to the directions on the cake mix box. And when they're done, we'll put on some frosting. Mmm. And the velas. Candles. It will be very exciting. Oh, everything too slim cooks is exciting. Not always edible, but exciting. <laughs> Surprise! Hey, it's Princess Little Running Bear that frolics in the cave of the mighty waterfall. You can call me Princess. Surprise! Surprise! Looks like almost everybody's here but the guest of honor. That's our signal to hide. Everybody in here, quick! Will you stop that infernal yodeling? You're making my tinnitus act up! Where is everybody? <laughs> Don't go away, saddle pals. Riders in the sky will be back after these messages. Kids can't resist being washed by no lucky charms, so I'll make them invisible. And me too. No more lucky charms. What do we do? Yes, all will be lucky charms and they'll reappear. Well, there's pink hearts, orange stars, yellow moons, green clover, blue diamonds, purple horseshoes, and red balloons. With lucky charms together again. It's a magical part of our complete breakfast. Perfect. Right you are. Lucky. Frosted lucky, lucky charms. They're magically delicious. Don't tell him I said so. But my brother is totally cool. Totally cool. He can take a Yoo-Hoo chocolate drink and do this with the cap. I'm working on it. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> but house rules. You don't have to sink one to drink one. With vitamins and minerals. Yoo-Hoo, the cool way to do chocolate. Here's your invitation to a jungle party. It's Walt Disney's classic movie, The Jungle Book on video cassette. Meet Mowgli, a boy raised by wolves. Dance with Big Old Baloo Bear and end up in the wildest adventure of all time. It's your chance to party anytime you want with the most romping, chomping, swinging, flinging party animals ever. Somebody do something with that kid. Walt Disney's The Jungle Book on video cassette. It's a singing, dancing, grooving good time. You better believe it. And now, back to Riders in the Sky. <laughs> you fellas sure need surprise old sourdough. <laughs> I thought you'd forgot all about me. Oh, no. 
Well, we'd never forget about your birthday, sourdough. That's right, old timer. You're part of the family. <laughs> well, I'd be bowling like a baby right now if my old tear ducts weren't so dried up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how'd you like to hear your favorite song, sourdough? Cimarron? Cimarron it is. Oh. Let's hit it, boy. <laughs> Sure, a swell song. Boy, oh boy, I wish I could learn to play the fiddle like you, Woody Paul. <laughs> well, Bobby, the fiddle isn't the kind of instrument that's easy to learn. Why, it takes years and years of hard practice. Well, if it's going to take that long, Woody Paul, you'd better let Bobby get started. <laughs> okay, lesson number one, hole in the fiddle. Like this, Woody Paul? That's not bad. Can I try using the bow? Okay, but don't be too disappointed if you can't get a good sound. Like I say, it takes years and years of practice. <laughs> see, see what I mean? <laughs> Gee, I must be a better fiddle teacher than I thought. <laughs> To be exact. Wow. Happy, Happy birthday, Sourdough! Make a wish and blow out the candle. <laughs> I wish that we could see the second part of that cliffhanger. <gasps> is my magic lasso's command. <laughs> and now it's time for another exciting adventure of Riders in the Sky. Riders in the Sky versus Tunga Tahunga, part two. As you'll remember from part one, unless you woke up a little late this morning, the riders' reputations were bespersed by that blabby brewer of bogus bylines, Tunga Tahunga. <laughs> Story, our heroes are just about to face certain doom under the crushing force of Tunga's tongue. Certain doom? Not be so pessimistic, huh? I heard of tongue twisters, but this is ridiculous. What do we do, Ranger Doug? Let's give her a taste of her own medicine, boys. Follow my lead. Say, you two must be the two that Tunga wrote to us about. Are you still practicing voodoo? Huh? Yes, Tunga wrote and said you were caught practicing voodoo. At the Betty Ford Clinic. With Elvis. None of that's true. Tunga, how could you? Unable to reply because of the oversized app scope protruding from her mouth, Tunga unwittingly lets our heroes loose. Wow, talk about a retraction. I never said any of those things. And we never said we were aliens from outer space, did we, Tunga? Well, not exactly, no. But 
doesn't feel too good when lies are told about you, does it, Tunga? Well, not exactly, no. Maybe now you'll print an apology and set the record straight. Well, not exactly, no! And so, Tunga left our cowboys with no other choice than to wash her mouth out with a giant bar of soap. You leave us with no other choice than to wash your mouth out with a giant bar of soap. Woody Paul. No! No, not the giant bar of soap! All right, all right, I apologize. Apology accepted. But you haven't heard the last of Tunga to Hunga. Oh, yes, we have, because those were the last lines of dialogue that were written for this exciting episode of Riders in the Sky! <laughs> this is the best darn birthday you sidekick ever had. <laughs> do we have time for a sing-along? We sure do. What would you like to hear, sourdough? sing along where we all repeat what you sing. Ah, I'm going to leave old Texas now. Excellent choice, sourdough. <laughs> Move just grassy, senor, senor. <laughs> Maybe I can bounce on the words for the saddle pals at home. Well, you're the birthday boy, sourdough. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. Old Texas now. Old Texas now. They've got no use. They've got no use for the longhorn cow. For the longhorn cow. They've plowed and fenced. They've plowed and fenced. My cattle range. My cattle range. And the people there. And the people there are all so strange. Are all so strange. I'll bid adieu. I'll bid adieu to the Alamo. To the Alamo. And turn. My face and turn my face to Mexico, the fiddle solo. Saw, 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 scrape, 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 comes a fast one. Yeah. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. Old Texas now. Old Texas now. They've got no use. They've got no use. For the Longhorn Cow. For the Longhorn Cow. Let's make cow noises. And now these messages. That's him, the guy you're up against. You'll need more than speed. you need the eye of the tiger. It comes from hard work and smart eating. Like this complete breakfast, including the great taste of Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. There, who? The perfect game has great characters like Disney's DuckTales with Uncle Scrooge, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. They need to get to the bank before Magica and the Beagle Boys get the money. Then there's Disney's Baloo from Tailspin. You can help Baloo pilot his plane to Sea Duck while dodging disaster and the evil pirate Don Carnage. It's Disney's DuckTales and Tailspin's games from Tiger. Batteries not included, each sold separately. And you can be best buddies. Hey, let's all play the Where's Waldo World game. First you shake them, then you spill them, then you spread them all around, then you shout. Where's Waldo? Then you spin it to the timer, and you're looking all about them, then you shout. Where's Waldo? In the Where's Waldo World game, the fun can never be the same. And then you shout. It's all the fun you can find. 
The Where's Waldo World Game and Where's Waldo Doll, sold separately from Mattel. No saddle pals, most of the time it doesn't take too much to make your friends and family feel good. That's right. All it really takes is for you to say a kind word or lend somebody a friendly helping hand. And before you know it, you've made somebody feel really good. And here's a secret for you, Saddle Pals. If you make someone you know feel good, you know what happens? You make yourself feel good, too. And that's a fact. So long, Saddle Pals! So long, Saddle Pals. It's been so good to see you. Farewell, Saddle Pals. Adam's Family Cereal. The weird part of this complete breakfast. Just wait until you see them. It's like with fairy trio. They taste so good you'll see them. The Adam's Family Cereal. So you can get hot because the hammer's coming home. Gold, gold, glittering pants and a cool boom box with a beat to dance. MC Hammer Time, freak to the beat. Like that, with MC Hammer, you're ready to rap. Sing along. I'll make up your own. Yeah, you can get hot because the hammer's coming home. When you dance with me, we'll be too much. Because it's homeboy, you can't touch. One hammer's got a boom box, you buy the batteries. The other's got a song tape, it's also separately. Presenting a day in the life of Ronald McDonald. We find Ronald about to take a bath, but someone's already taken it. So it's off to his closet to decide what to wear. What to wear, what to wear. He greets his fans. Hi, fans. greatest. Hops a cab to a recording session with an actual rock band. Then joins the McNuggets for box seats at the opera. Then it's home to catch the evening news and tell the Fry Kids a story. Once upon a time, Whoa. there was... Hey, have to go to the bathroom. Thank you, Ronald, for sharing your day. He won't be dead. He'll chase the car or your cat is dead. You don't be bad for over a swim. I love you too, Grimmy. She's in love with him. Oh. This dog is grim. Better lock the door, better get the floor, better hide your head, that's grim. Better pull the shade, better call the aid, better stay in bed, that's him. Little Grimmy Boo runs around the scene, he'll get back in bed. Watch your step, cuz look out or you'll be had. This dog is bad. He won't bark if he's gonna bite. And man, he gets in trouble on Jessica at night. But she can't stay too angry at him. She's Mother Goose, Mother Goose, Mother Goose and Mother Goose and Grim will return after these messages. I can make my baby laugh, can you? <laughs> I make her feel better when she's blue. Magic Bottle Baby Toddler and Newborn. When you press the buttons, you can choose whether they'll laugh, cry, drink, even burp. Magic Bottle Baby Toddler and Newborn, each sold separately. Batteries not included. New from Tyco. Golden sweet, honey sweet, fun to make them fun to eat. That's why we all love our honey gold. See that thing? Here is one. See those things go much, much, much. We all love the things that honey gold. Well, it should come as no surprise. Kids love every shape and size. Love what honey gold provides. That shape and honey think they pride. Honey, 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 honey. Yeah. And now back to Mother Goose and Grim. <laughs> 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 the 
Oh boy, it's garbage time! <laughs> I hate industrial strength trash bags! Oh no! Humpty Dumpty's sitting on the wall again! Calm down, everybody. I've been sitting on walls for years. Yeah, and you keep falling down and breaking your crown. That's Jack. I'm Jack and Jill. Same difference. I love to sit on walls. I just love to... Whoa! Ah! Oh, good work, Grimmy Poo. Thank you for breaking my fall. Oh, well, he's the egg, but I'm the one who gets scrambled. Oh. Humpty, Humpty, darling, how many times ah, have I... If I get hurt, Dr. Glee will just patch me up. Oh. Dr. Glee cannot patch you up, you egghead. Dr. Glee has moved away. Who's Dr. Glee? Oh, Dr. Glee is a doctor who used to treat Humpty when he fell off walls. Oh, wonderful, handsome Dr. Glee. He was a brilliant surgeon. But that stupid poetry of his drove me bananas. My sponges all are very damp. Please, add to me another clam. We, we met when I brought Humpty in, and then we started dating. Dear Goose, you are a walking dream. Please, pass the sugar and the cream. Here, day after day, the poems got to me. And uh, finally, he popped the question in rhyme, of course. Yes, dear Goose, my name is Gleep. This secret we have got to keep. I dream about you in my sleep. No time have I for counting sheep. Oh, Gleepy. <laughs> Could you, would you marry me? Could you, would you need to treat? Could you, would you buy the sheep? Could you, would you marry me? I can't marry you, Gleep. Could you, would you with some lot? Could you, would you near an ark? Gleepy, I can't. <laughs> Could you, would you, with a mop? Could you, would you, with a car? Gleepy, stop! Could you, would you, on a truck? Could you, would you, with a duck? I could not, would not, on a truck. I could not, would not, with a duck. I could not, would not, in the zoo. I could not, would not, marry you! <gasps> now he's got me doing it. He was pretty upset when I said no. This is a very tragic day. It fills me full of great dismay. I do not think that I will stay. I shall now pass and move away. You don't have to leave town, Gleepy, just because I won't marry you. Gleep, Gleep! But he was true to his poem. I haven't seen him in years. <laughs> That's the saddest story I ever heard in my life. Well, listen, I have to go watch my favorite soap opera. I think someone's getting married today, or getting a disease, I, 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 or both. She sounds... Look, she misses him. Nah, how could she with a world-class puppy in the house? <laughs> Ooh, what a great-looking wall. Maybe I could... No, no, I've got to stop. Hi, ham. Hi, egg. Hey, we make a good team. Nice-looking wall. Better not sit on it or, you know, omelet time. I'm trying not to, but it's such a nice wall. It looks so comfy. I've got to sit on it. No, don't. One side pig, out of my way. Remy, do you think Mother Goose is ever lonely? How could she be? She's got me. Plus, there's you and the bear and Humpty Dumpty. And I think we still have some dwarf visiting here somewhere. See? Dwarf. <laughs> Plus the mirror and Lassie. And I think that's it. Mommy Goose, Mommy Goose. And the nutty pig. What do you think is missing? Never mind. We'd better go see what Ham's upset about. Mommy Goose. Mommy Goose. Oh, come quick, come quick. Oh, catastrophe. Now slow down, take a deep breath, and relax. Now, 
Are you calm down? Yes, Mommy Goose. Oh, fine. Now tell me what's going on. Humpty Dumpty's on the wall again. I told him not to, but did he listen to me? No, he didn't listen to me. Oh, this is great. <laughs> oh, there he is again. Seatbelts on walls. I'm telling you, there should be a law. Seatbelts on walls. Relax. I can take care of myself. I can. <laughs> oh, creepy. Hey, call the paramedics. Oh, poor egg. We better hurry. He's lost a lot of yolk. <laughs> All the king's horses, all the king's men, please report to emergency. Oh. I hope he's all right. I heard the nurse say his cholesterol was very high. Well, of course it's high. He's an egg. He was a good egg. I remember him every Easter running from that rabbit with the pink brush. Oh, don't talk like that, Attila. There's still hope. How do you do, Dumpty family? Uh, well, we're his friends. How is Humpty? I am afraid all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put him back together again. Horses? King's men? How about getting some surgeons in there? What kind of crummy health plan is this? There is only one doctor who could perform the operation involved and he disappeared long ago. You mean... Yes. The only one who can save your friend the egg is... Dr. Gleep. <laughs> Would you hold it down? Our friend's in a mess of trouble! Remy, what does this mean? It means that Humpty's only chance is if we find Dr. Glee. I told you to stop playing that thing. It's like I am telling you. Dr. Gleep is the only one who can save your friend the egg. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an emergency golf game. Good day. Four. We have to find Dr. Gleep, guys. You miss him, don't you, Ma? Miss him? Oh, oh, my, no, no. It's all over between us, but for Humpty's sake. Don't worry, Ma. I'll find him or my name isn't... What's my name? Grimmy. Or my name isn't Grimmy. Come on, guys. Let's win this one for the dumpster. Are we men or are we mice? Neither. I'm a pig, he's a cat, you're a dog. Well, the medical board didn't know where Dr. Gleep is, but we're not giving up. Well, the doctor society didn't know where Dr. Gleep is, but we're not giving up. Well, the police didn't know where Dr. Gleep is, I think maybe we're giving up. Poor Humpty. How could Dr. Gleep just disappear? Oh, Dr. Gleep. I just love Dr. Gleep. You know Dr. Gleep? Uh-huh. I read all of his books. <laughs> books? Uh-huh. Dr. Gleep writes the best kid books in the whole wide world. Dr. Gleep's writing kids' books? Come on, guys. We've got a lead. Thanks. They'll have his books right here in the library. Remy! Here are all of Dr. Gleep's books! The Sap in the Cap, If I Ran the Video Arcade, How the French Stole Memorial Day. When he moved out of town, he must have started writing kids' books! And here's where he moved to. Dr. Gleep currently resides in Freeble Flats. <laughs> Freeble Flats! Freeble uh, Flat? Isn't that where all these weird creatures live? Yes, it's a place of great danger. It will take enormous courage and bravery to go into that land to find Dr. Gleep. I wish I could go with you men, but... I can't seem to shake this cold, not you. Oh, no, you don't. If we have to go, you have to go. Oh, wait. How about if we flip a coin and you go, Tails, I stay? No, please. It's scary out there. It's so far away. <laughs> According to
to this, we're just about to Freeble Flats. But this bus doesn't stop until it reaches Albuquerque. <laughs> How are we ever going to get off? Yeah! Oh! Oh! Boy, what a rude way to treat passengers. I'm sure glad we didn't pay. Come on, that ought to be the entrance to Freeble Flats. What a weird place this Dr. Gleep lives in. Beware of the frazzle. What an awful looking creature! Beware of the wuggle. That one looks worse. Beware of the snorp. No, I take it back. That one looks worse. This place has frazzles and wuggles and snorps. <laughs> That's scary! Frazzles and wuggles and snorps! Oh my! Frazzles and wuggles and snorps! Oh my! Frazzles and wuggles and snorps! Oh my! Frazzles and wuggles and snorps! I didn't hear that! Oh no! Yes, definitely heard it. There it is! Uh -uh. I am a beast known as the Snaps, the guardian of Freeble Flats. I dine on pigs and dogs and cats. A good way of avoiding fat. This is the closest call we've had. I think it's time to run like mad! <laughs> no matter what your size and shape, for me, there can be no escape. No matter how you run or scoot, a snap will be in hot pursuit, you know. He won't find us in here. It looks as if I have found you, so tag your it and pick a boo! <laughs> We're goners! We're history! We'll never see Mommy Goose again. Don't struggle, or you can't get loose! Uh, say, did you, did you mention Mother Goose? Yes, Mommy Goose. We came to find Dr. Gleep because we live with Mother Goose and she misses him. And more important, our friend Humpty Dumpty fell off a wall and only Dr. Gleep can save him. And I'm sorry I'll shut up so you can get on with snatching us to death or do whatever you're going to do. My secret you have got to keep. Don't say hello to Dr. Gleep. Jump in pork belly. My goodness. Dr. Gleep, I presume? I'm Dr. Gleep, just as you say. The snaps I built of gears and clay. It keeps unwanted folks away and leaves me free to write and play. I hope you all are feeling fine. And now tell me of my goose divine. First, will you come back and patch up our friend Humpty? If you need help to save your egg, let's hurry up and shake a leg. Gee, I'm only known in 30 seconds. And I'm already sick of the poems. I don't know how to thank you guys. Just stay off wall. And high curbs. Humpty, they put you back together again. But I thought only Dr. Gleep could do that. Ta-da! Dear Goose, this may be a surprise, but you're a sight for tired eyes. Gleepy! We have to catch up on old times. So please knock off those silly rhymes. Well, guys, looks like we did it. Do you think they'll get married? Nah, Ma could never marry a man with bad poems and better selling books than hers. But they'll have some fun, and it looks like our job is through. Hey, guys! Oh, oh no. no! Look at this great wall I found to sit on! What do we do? He's going to wind up in a heap. Let's go and scrub up Dr. Gleep, you know. Mother Goose and Grim will return after these messages. Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? Here he is, and you can be best buddies. Hey, let's all play the Where's Waldo World game. First you shake him, then you spill him, then you spread him all around, then you shout. Where's Waldo? Then you spill it to the tower, and you're looking all about him, then you shout. Where's Waldo? In the Where's Waldo World game, the fun can never be the same. I can't shout. It's all the fun you can find. The Where's Waldo World game and Where's Waldo dolls, sold separately from Mattel. Beware, it's the Adams Family Cereal. It's creepy and it's spooky, mysterious and spooky. It's all together spooky, the Adams Family Cereal. The weird part of this complete breakfast. Just wait until you see them, it's like a fairy tree. They taste so good, you'll see them. 
this year. I love it, I love it. Cleaning out your cabinets, Mom? Oh, yes, it is, dear. Oh, my. That nice Dr. Jekyll must have left this year when he visited us last May. <laughs> Dr. Jekyll? Isn't he the man who used to turn himself into a monster? Oh, yes. You know, he was a lot of fun, if you don't mind hairy knees. <laughs> oh, I wonder if this was the potion that transformed him into a wild beast. It's not safe to have a magic potion around the house. Oh, my favorite watering hole. Let's take these out and dump them in the trash, Attila. Don't bother. I'll leave them here. Now, don't mess anything up while we're outside, Grimmy Poo. <laughs> yeah, don't mess anything up. Don't mess anything up. What do they think I'm gonna do anyway? Turn into some kind of a monster? Maybe Grimmy can help us tidy up the place. Doubtful. Grimmy! What have you done to my kitchen? What has who done to what kitchen? I, I didn't do this. Honest, cross my heart and hope to play dead forever. Well, if you didn't, then who did? Well, I, maybe a tip. It uh, could have been. Grimmy, uh -huh. Grimmy, you get out of here. I'm getting, I'm getting. <laughs> oh, she never believed I'm innocent. And this is one time when I really am. Oh, well. I'll go into town until she cools off. Huh, if she cools off. Dog catching history will be made today when dog catcher Leon Rottweiler catches his 1,000th dog. This must be a big day for you, Leon. I am very proud. I go now to catch my 1,000th dog. Goodbye. I'll be back. I understand dog catching is a family tradition, Mrs. Rottweiler. Yeah, Leon's father was a dog catcher. I cannot catch another dog. Why not? I have caught them all. Stop, Tate, pal. Listen, pal, if you want this story to air on the news tonight, you'd better catch one more dog and quickly. I will catch one more dog. Ah, there is one more dog. I still don't get what happened in Margoose's kitchen. I have done it. I have caught one more dog. Mr. Newsman person, sir, I've caught one more dog. <coughs> I'm trapped! I'm... Why are they not coming to see my one more dog and make me famous? You are a big one more dog. I will 
get you one more dog. <laughs> I caught you. I have you, and I will not let you go. <laughs> That is one mean one more dog. I have caught you one more dog. Someone help the dog catch that again, please! Your son is a very heroic dog catcher. He is brave. He is fearless. Please do not hurt me, dog. I am sorry. I will never catch a dog again. He is a disgrace to the name of Rottweiler. I will quit being a dog catcher. And there you have it, the sad end to a dog catcher's career. Pathetic. Isn't it? Boo. <laughs> I don't get it either, but it worked. Hmm. Whatever was bothering me seems to be wearing off. <gasps> you again! You do not have to run, dog. I don't? Why don't I? I am no longer a dog catcher. I am now with police department catching jaywalkers. Like him. That man just jaywalked. I will give him a ticket. You, I will give you a ticket. What is your name? My name, my name is Jekyll. Dr. Henry Jekyll. <laughs> People are really bad sports when they get a ticket. I don't understand. <laughs> Mother Goose and Grim will return after these messages. At Fisher Price, we have a simple philosophy. Toys are meant to be played with. And the best toys are the ones that get played with the most. That's why our medical kit picks up real heartbeats. Why so many love letters come through our post office and why the line on our telephone is always busy. So if Fisher-Price toys seem to get played with a bit more, it's probably because there's more toy to play with. This holiday season, where can a cat become a dog? A dog! <laughs> where can an ordinary girl become a star? Who thought you left behind? Where can a little mouse become a big hero? You saved my life. I'll never forget this, kid. In the magical new holiday adventure. He's come back to us. Steven Spielberg presents An American Tale. Bible Goes West. Rated G. Now playing at theaters everywhere. Crayola, Crayola, rock! Crayola crayons let you rock. Crayola markers let you roll. Crayola, Crayola, rock! Crayola, Crayola, rock! Crayola, Crayola, rock! Crayola crayons and markers. You don't just draw with them, you rock and roll with them. Crayola, Crayola, rock! Presenting a day in the life of Ronald McDonald. We find Ronald about to take a bath, but someone's already taken it. So it's off to his closet to decide what to wear. What to wear, what to wear. He wow. greets his fans. Oh, wow. Hi, fans. Greatest. Hops a cab to a recording session with an actual rock band. Then joins the McNuggets for box seats at the opera. Then it's home to catch the evening news and tell the Fry Kids a story. Once upon a time, Whoa. there was... Hey, have to go to the bathroom. Thank Come you, on. Ronald, for sharing your day.
separately from play school. The special on today's menu is fun with Jello Gelatin Jigglers. A to Z. Make Jigglers for you and me. Just follow the recipe. Accordingly, you'll agree. It's the key. Spells fun for you. Spells fun for me. Now A to Z. Make Jigglers for you and me. My compliments to the chef. There's always room for J-E-L-L-O. You're on, Dr. Brown. Dr. Emmett Brown here, reporting from ancient Rome. 3680 to be precise. Like my outfit, when in Rome, dress as the Romans do. Although this is not a dress, it's a toga. And this, Italian food, right? Wrong. Noodles were unknown in Italy until Marco Polo brought them back from China in 1295. Why, what we think of as Italian cuisine is completely unknown in this era. Marty found that out on our previous trip to ancient Italy. It all began not in Rome, but in my own backyard. Ready? Now! Marty, stop! Oh, baby! Hey, Doc, you gotta be more careful! Holy bullseye! 
That sounded like our tangible and authentic father. You are Oh, Doc, there were two of you. First back there, and, and then here. Oh, for Petrie's sake! Those boys must be playing with the three-dimensional holographic projector again. Oh, man, I'm sorry, Doc. I, I ruined your latest invention. What invention? This is the trash. If I've told you once, I've told you ten to the third power times, the holographic projector was designed as a home security device. Its purpose is to deceive burglars into thinking we are at home, but in fact, we are not. Sorry, Dad. Most sincere apologies, Father. Jules, Fern, I want you on your best behavior while I'm away returning these research materials. Father, exactly where, or should I say, when are you going? Ancient Rome, 36 AD to be precise. I borrowed numerous notations from their early historians to update my files. And while there, I plan to study the architectural designs of the Roman arcades. Arcades? Cool! Might we accompany you, Father? Negative. You're grounded in the 20th century for misuse of the holographic projector. Yes, Father. We gracefully accept our well-deserved punishment. Uh, hey, Doc, what about me going? I could do an extra credit report for history class. Caesar. The man, the myth, the salad. Very well, Marty. Perhaps it's not too late to penetrate that rock and roll drenched brain of yours. And no more playing with the holographic projector, you two. Of course not, Father. Have a wonderful trip. No place like Rome, founded in 753 B.C. when Romulus and Ramus, escaping from the Trojan War, forcibly took control of a small tribe of locals. Even if Jules and Vern weren't being punished, I would be hesitant to bring them to such an unstable and violent society. Come, sibling. Let us search out the arcades for our playtime amusement. I bet this is the mall. They gotta have an arcade in here. Yeehaw! This is better than any arcade, Jules. Yes, these floors are quite lubricious. Perfect for proving that a body in motion tends to remain in. Survey! Sukure me akisile! Good tears, poor. Excubier! Excubier! I must locate Father post haste! Ah, ancient Rome, home to such architectural wonders as the Pantheon, the Appian Way, and the Aqueducts. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's great, Doc, but I'm starving. Hey, lady, where can I get a pizza around here? Me, estás in pere! Oh, uh, do they deliver? Marty, she's conversing in Latin. Bummer. There, you need a universal linguistic translator. It will enable you to speak and understand any language. But we haven't time to interface with the locals. Let us further explore the marvels of this fascinating civilization. Okay, Cleopatra, give it to me again. Young man, I said you're standing on my foot. Oh, sorry. Hey, what about that pizza place? Thank note, Marty, the average Roman citizen is several centimeters shorter than a 20th century man. Marty? Jump in, Chigawatts! I told him not to wander off. Father! Father! Not now, Jules. I'm looking for Marty. Jules! Great balls of combustion manifested in light and heat. What are you doing here? Oh, Vern and I wanted to play the video games in the arcade. I meant the architectural term for arcade, which is a range or series of two or more arches borne by piers or columns. Not some cheap storefront overcrowded with indolent juveniles throwing away their money on electronic diversions. Be that as it may, Vern is in desperate need of... Help! These guys are worse than the Hill Valley Mall security guards. You really shouldn't be swimming when there's no lifeguard on duty. 
You say he was being pursued in the paths? Yes, Father, but I don't recall it being so cold. Burn the frigidarium. After sweating the body's impurities in the caladarium below, this chilly atmosphere stimulates the circulation. Hey, let go of me! I didn't do anything, you big goons! Jules, we need to create a distraction. Jules? Father, my feet detect that below this floor is a system of ducts, or ventilating shafts, if you will, through which hot air flows. Of course! We introduce that hot air into this chilled climate and create an occluded weatherfront. In layman's terms, fog! Mama, meteorology! I'm out of here! Where's the boy? Find him! Find him? I can't even find me! And the weatherman said fair and partly cloudy. There you are, sir. One headless fish wrapped in stale bread. Here's a five. Keep the change. <laughs> <laughs> Kneel, simpleton, and bow your head. Unless you wish to lose it. Is there a tannin in every century? The name is Antanony. Bipicus Antanony, and what is your moniker, Ethan? It's Marty. Uh, Cuss. Yeah, yeah, Marticus. Marticus? You look more like a tuum de gluteus maximus. Oh, great. This thing's on the fritz. He said tuum de gluteus maximus. I should have known. Upstart, you have humiliated me before the fine people of Rome. I demand an apology. Hey, listen, Curly Top, don't get your toga in a knot. You mock me! I challenge you to a race. Oh, well, what do you say? 50-yard dash? Make it easy on yourself. I'm in pretty good shape. Chariots, you idiot! We're going to race chariots! Right. Uh, hey, I I'd love to do the chariot thing, but uh, mine's in the shop getting a 5,000 lap tune-up. <laughs> Why, you're nothing but Unus Pullus. What did you call me? Unus Pullus. <laughs> nobody, nobody calls me a Pullus. We race at noon. The Circus Maximus. Don't worry, pal. I'll be there. Oh, yes. My foot soldiers will guarantee it. <laughs> this is just a guess, but I bet you boys work out a lot. So this big bully in a dress is yelling at this other guy, treating him like he was his own personal slave or something. I'm afraid he was, Vernie. Whether we approve or not, slavery is an accepted practice in this society. Rome is teeming with slaves who have no rights, no privileges, and very little hope. Not terribly democratic. No, son. However, societal injustice is frequently succeeded by rebellion. You speak of rebellion? Well, uh, of course, only in generalities. I am really quite ignorant regarding specific details. The captain of the guard shall be interested to hear of this rebellion. Then we will introduce you to a couple of the Emperor's pet lions. Hey, look at my dad! <laughs> the little one is quite spirited. What the? Jules, fire! Move swiftly on pedal appendages so that each side elevates opposing lower limbs. I'll just run for it! After them! Ah, uh, my Venus is now complete. Hey, you kids! Hmm, not bad. Hey, does this make us armed and dangerous? These vessels should obscure our location, sibling. We're too smart for that, jerk. Hey, Jules, look at that. Bificus to race Marticus, noon today, Circus Maximus. Marty's gonna be in the circus? Yikes! Hey, I know you. You're the guy from the baths. My name is Judah. As I wanted to thank you for your bravery, I followed when you left the baths. I'm sorry about what happened to your father. Can you tell us where they've taken him? I can do better than that. Walk with care, young friends. The catacombs were not designed as a means for everyday travel. Uh. Are you all right? Hey, Jules, they got a bully alley in this place. A deduction based on what information, brother? I found a bowling ball. Ah. The catacombs are the final resting place for many a Roman citizen. Oh, rat. What is your difficulty now, Vern? Nothing. Just that! Well, on the bright side, at least I've got my health. 
Hiya, Pop. What are you in for? Ouch, I'm a couch, huh? Boys, how in Herculaneum did you ever find me? Our new friend Judah brought us. We came to spring you. Great seats, guys, but uh, what the heck am I doing here? I thought I was going to race the big guy. Bificus has granted you permission to observe the opening act. Friends, Romans, countrymen, welcome. Let the games commence. Hey, great! An Italian production of Cats. Doc? It's the Doc! Diapers that show five numbers when they're wet. I love Drinking wet quince with special for five magic diapers, bottle and hamper. Other accessories sold separately. Thanks, Kim. So loud, Bardicus. Now allow me to demonstrate some technical modifications we've made on this chariot. Oh, great, Doc. You fixed it so I can't lose. No, Marty, I fixed it so you can't win. Huh? If you win the race, the Romans will turn against Pificus. His power is vital in enabling Caligula to become the next emperor. And the ascension of Caligula is the first step in the fall of the Roman Empire. Pificus must regain his popularity in order to restore the proper timeline. In conclusion, you must race and you must lose. Now, the modification we've made will ensure your safety. For example, last, no time. Here, take this walkie-talkie and call me if there's any trouble. Best of luck, Marticus. And may the best dude win. You mean lose. Precisely. Any last words before I destroy you in front of the entire Roman Empire? <laughs> Yeah, just remember, the bigger the empire, the harder it falls.
Doc! Come in, Doc! I'm here, Marty! Doc, I, I got a flat! I'm gonna be killed! Utilize the lever on your right! Yeah, how about I just pull it? Oh, okay. I got the model with the deluxe sports package. Yeah! Doc, I'm gonna win! Marty, don't get carried away! You gotta lose! Oh, yeah! I forgot! The brake, Marty! Hit the brake! Ithikos and Tadane, you have raced well. I came, I saw, and I beat him! <laughs> hey, Ithikos, the victory is yours. The loser's fate is in your hands. How say you? Imperial Majesty, Marticus raced with honor and dignity as befits a Roman. Ah, thanks, big guy. So, let's throw him to the lions! Yeah! Uh, wait! Uh, I'm allergic to cat hair. Judah, how can I repay you for all your assistance? Marticus's chariot would be a fine reward. Hop in! Your chariot is not bad either. Doc! You gotta help me! Mind if I take over? Be my guest. Uh, hey, by the way, I, I never got the name. It is Judah. Judah Ben Hur. Hi. Farewell, Judah. Ben Hur. That's. I know, Marty. Oh, I was correct after all, Your Majesty. He is Unus Polus. Pergamentum. Ode Pergamentum. And now, boys, it's time to go! Back to the future! Oh, back to town. I still have to return these scrolls. Look at those cute babies. Cabbage Patch Kids babies and preemies. These preemies need a mommy. And these babies have adorable outfits. Meet Katie Lee. My name's Katie, too. Babies smell so sweet. Mmm, like baby powder. What's her name? Emily Jean. She's a preemie. She's got blue eyes, like you. That's my kid. That's my Cabbage Patch Kids. Xavier Roberts Cabbage Patch Kids babies and preemies, each sold separately with a birth certificate. Accessories sold separately, too. After a big pass to lunch and traveling 2,000 years, talk about your jet lag. I'll tell you one thing, if Marty had won that chariot race, it would have been a real drag. As a matter of fact, Marty lost the race due to drag. Or in other words, air resistance. Accessing video encyclopedia section D for drag. Where's Wally?
Where's Wally? Where, 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 where's Wally? Did you say him, huh? Where, 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 where is Wally? Where is Wally? Where, where? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. <laughs> Greetings, Wally Watchers. Let's take a glimpse into the workings of our hero's thrill-packed life. Uh-oh. Yes! Pardon me, but I'm just finishing my bath. Oops. Uh, sorry. And TV time costs a fortune. <laughs> Ah, oh, whoop! I see you're interested in my latest acquisition. It's a gift from the Ooga Booga Nooga people of the Lower Begonia, which is much like the Upper Begonia, only lower. An eel can generate enough electricity to make a refrigerator run. Uh -huh. Unless, of course, it prefers walking. <laughs> <laughs> that walking stick will soon be mine. Yes! Little does Wally know that he's being watched by that mean, nasty, loathsome... Uh, I believe you left out disgusting. Oh, yeah, sorry. And disgusting Adler! Thanks much. <laughs> oh, hey, I'd like a large pepperoni pizza, please. Oh. Wizard Whitebeard, nice to see you. Why, hey, hello, Wally. Hey, it's good to see you're here for a pizza, too, because I needed to talk to you. I, uh, think you've made a mistake, Whitebeard. This is my home. Hmm. When did you move into a pizza parlor, Wally? <coughs> oh, hey, I'm glad you did, because I wanted to tell you that you're going on a journey into a fantastic forest. A fantastic forest? Great! Why? Yes. Why? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are going to save the forest and do it with fruit. <laughs> save a forest. Big whoop. I'll wait until he returns and steal the stick. Taxi! <laughs> oh, and you'll use a magic priceless fruit. I'll stay. <clears throat> Listen closely. Clean as mud, don't call it quits. Because the back near one, the front omits. And still by more, the middle splits. You'll find your quest is just the pits. I'll find my quest is just the pits. Well, they can't all be easy. Phew. A little to the left and... But remember, Wally, you must beware of the... the... Hey, is my pizza ready yet? <laughs> Come, Wolf! This magic fruit is a plum assignment. <laughs> Wait for me! Uh -oh. I'll tell you, you know, the service here is terrible. It's a wonder they sell any pizza at all. Listen up, Wally Watchers. Be on the lookout for a two-headed unicorn, an upside-down ladder, two trees in love, and a gray 79 Chevy with a dent in the right fender. Why should they look for that? Because it's my car and it was stolen. Well, Wolf, you're the tree pro. I'll need your help more than ever. Ah, the mark of a true adventurer, conserving his energy till he needs it. What was that? Look, Woof, they're green, they live in the forest, they're women. They must be green forest women. <laughs> While he's lollygagging with them, I'll nab his stick. Hi, ladies, can we join you? Uh-oh. Time to go, girls. I wonder what the trajectory is. 
trajectory is three times the square root. Uh huh. This should do it. Sometimes I wish I would have been a dentist instead of a cartoon villain. Ow. Oh, wow, thanks. That was Congressional Medal of the Forest stuff, kid. Oh, hi, I'm Green Queen Emeralda. See? It says so right there on my ID. I'm honored, Your Majesty. This is my dog, Woof, and my name's Wally. Yeah, pleased to meet you, Walnut. Lee. Wally. Same thing. Pardon me, but what's happened to your forest? Oh, it's those evil gray knights. They're tearing up the place. Oh, if this keeps up, we'll lose our home. Maybe not. Do you know anything about some magic fruit? That stuff? It's supposed to grow in a lost grove. Why? I believe it blooms and ripens once every thousand years. And legend says that it's supposed to happen today. Hey, how'd you know that? I read that book. Trouble is, we've never been able to find the fruit. Wow, that was a close one. Aha! This much I'm sure of. This tree did not fall by accident. The current wind velocity of 6.3 kilometers per hour was a big factor. Also, there are these tidbits, too. Well, they probably cut down this tree, too. The evil Grey Knights, I presume? Yeah, just look at those helmets. Somebody's missing a lot of mop buckets. Who's the menacing fellow who looks as if he'd like to twist me into a knot and throw me off of a cliff? That's the evil knight's leader who thinks we're hiding the location of the Lost Grove. He's mean, he's nasty, and he could use some Under Armour deodorant. Those women are keeping me from finding the magic fruit. I must find it. Oh, oh, excuse me, Chappie, my name's Outlaw. Who are you? I am the evil leader of the evil knights. My name's Fred. <laughs> Fred? What kind of self-respecting evil knight has a name like Fred? After that, Fred, let's talk. Hmm, let's see. Ah, yes! Fred is riding his horse, and he's getting closer and closer and closer! Now he's getting farther and farther and farther! Our queen, he's taken her. I'll be darned. Hey, he's taken Wolf, too. The queen and Wolf are kidnapped. The forest is in ruin. What will our hero do, Wally Watchers? If you'll be patient, I'm sure I can figure out a way to Fred's hideout. Where's Waldo will return after these messages. Pretty Cotton Grow, you need a haircut. I snip and clip your hair away. Pretty Cotton Grow, you're getting prettier every day. With Pretty Cotton Grow, you can really cut her hair. You can't do this for every other dog. Pretty Cotton Grow, you're getting prettier every day. And it's easy to give her long hair again. I can twist and tie and trim this way. Pretty Cotton Grow, you're getting prettier every day. Pretty Cotton Grow comes with comb, barrette, scissors, and extra hair. Each sold separately from Play School. Okay, everybody, say cheeseburger! Cheeseburger! Speaking of cheeseburgers, let's go to Burger King! Look out, nature dudes, we're coming! Burger King's taking Homer, Marge, and all the Simpsons camping, including you-know-who. <laughs> now you can get one Simpsons character and camping scene in every kids' club meal at Burger King. The Burger King Kids' Club, just for fun, just for you! Last season, Murphy was caught between two men. Jerry. Jake. Jeez. Will she or won't she? Is she or isn't she? Emmy-winning Murphy Brown premieres Monday.
that he's figured out what to do. No, but I had time to eat a very nice lunch. <laughs> but what about our queen? What about our forest? Don't worry. We'll find both your queen and my brave wolf, Miss... Uh, pardon me, but what's your name? I'm Greeny Green. And this is Greenola. That's Greenella. This is Greenella. Greenilla. And that's Green Green. And that's Green Green Green. That makes sense. She's greener than green green, but not as green as green 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 green. But how are we going to get our queen back? Yeah! Ladies, please. I've never failed to get back a captured queen. <laughs> or save a forest, either. Onward! Hooray! Oh, let go of me! Just see if I send you guys a Christmas card next year. I say, Fred, since it was my idea to kidnap these two, how about making me a knight? Pretty please? I guess that's a yes. Ah. Give this new knight his armor. Oh. Good enough. Fits like a glove. All right, Queen Emeralda. Tell me where the magic grove is, or else... Or else what? I'm not sure nobody's ever asked that. Sire, allow your newest knight to handle her. Okay, madam. Where's the fruit? And where's Wally's stick, too? <laughs> is this nighty night for Adla? <laughs> Get it? Nighty night. <laughs> We got it, we got it. Get a grip, buddy. Get it. <coughs> oh, yes. Excuse me. Meanwhile, Wally continues his search. <laughs> Nighty night. <laughs> Let's see. How did Whitebeard's riddle go? Clear as mud, don't call it quits. Mud. We're on the right track. Wow, look at that. Bear the living mud, our friend. Ah, yes. First discovered by Professor Otto von Slinker on Thursday, April 9th in 1821. That's right! Well, perhaps you've heard of living mud from the land of many soggy rains? How are we gonna do it? Say, I wonder if you know the way to Fred's hideout. No, sorry, but we'd love to help stop him and save the forest. Okay, I'll remember that. My dog, Woof, will be happy to show me. How? He was captured by that knight. <laughs> All it takes is a little bit of Mama Waldini's dog food and stuffing mix. Don't worry, matey. I'll stop him. Woof loves it, and it tastes good in a turkey, too. Woof, old buddy, can you find the queen for us? It's a uniblars. Wow, Whitebeard's riddle. The back near one, the front omits. Come, Woof. Let's get the queen and find that fruit. There's no end to a clue like that. And on that terrible...
terrible line. Let's see how the queen is doing. I told you to back off, Buckethead. Uh, how could one woman do so much damage? Well, that explains it all. Excuse me? You fellows wouldn't mind if I take the Queen home, would you? Pizza dough! That's Wally! Gee, Nino! Sturdy armor forged in the ancient Klepperman foundry! Pleasant fellows, aren't they? Follow them. We must find the hidden fruit grove. Will Wally find the fantastic forest fruit before Fred finds it first? Or will you find Wally first? He's in there someplace. Good luck! We'll be back! Where's Waldo? We'll return after these messages. Homer, Marge, and all the Simpsons camping, including you-know-who. Ah! Now you can get one Simpsons character and camping seen in every Kids Club meal at Burger King. The Burger King Kids Club, just for fun, just for you. Okay, you kids, settle down. Hey, look what I got. May I use your eraser? Uh, sure, but this isn't an eraser. It's a... <laughs> now, in boxes of Captain Crunch cereal, there's a fake on eraser, glue bottle, or stapler. Each with a secret compartment, and a thousand kids are going to win... A hundred dollars! One fake out and a chance to win a hundred dollars in each specially marked box of Captain Crunch. To enter free, write fake out box 1602 Boston Mass 02277. Crayola crayons let you rock. Crayola markers let you roll. Crayola Crayola rocks! <laughs> Crayola. Crayola 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 Rocks! Crayola crayons and markers. You don't just draw with them, you rock and roll with them. Crayola Crayola Rocks! The crayons and markers you rock and roll with also come in these cool Crayola art kits and organizers. Crayola Rocks! Whoa! And now back to Where's Waldo? Whoa! Did you find Wally? He's by that tree! No. He's behind that rock. No. Where the heck is he? Right here, attempting to solve Whitebeard's riddle. Good luck, Walleye. <laughs> That's Lee. Wall Lee. Okay, okay. Never met anyone who changed his name so much. I'd still like to know, how are we going to find that grove and save the forest? Simple, ladies, by solving Whitebeard's riddle. I wonder what he meant. And by still more, the middle splits. Huh? That's it! The stream splits in the middle. So what? Unless I miss my guess, we're here. Ah, the magic grove! I don't believe it! You did it! You found the fruit! 
It was nothing. I just used Whitebeard's riddle and basic observational abilities to deduce the possibilities of... Great, Willie. Wait till the girls see this. Remember, ladies, whatever we do, Fred must never, ever, ever, ever find the magic fruit. He will now. Oh, why is there always someone using the payphone when you need it? Oh, fiddle-dee-dee. I'll go and tell Fred myself. Look at the bright side, Wally Watchers. Maybe Oddlaw will get lost in the forest. Well, I guess he did find Fred. Yeah. What is it, boy? Oh, no, it's Fred. Come on, girls. We've got to stop him and save the forest. To the trees, girls. Don't let him find the grove. Charge! Destroy the forest! Find that fruit! So says AI, the mighty Fred! Oh no, look at them! They're on stilts! What an ingenious idea! is on our side. Plus the fact that the star of the show never gets hurt. We need your help, mud men. The evil knights are threatening the forest. They are. If anyone's gonna mess up this forest, it's us. That's what mud's for. He thinks it's time to switch sides. Perfect. <laughs> I can sneak right past Fred. He'll never recognize me in this disguise. This is all your fault. Now, now, this is no reason to blow your helmet. Retreat, knights, and as you do, get that fool. Ah! He knew me. Well, it looks like Oddlaw's seen better days, and so have the forest women. Oh, look at our beautiful forest. It'll take forever for it to grow back like it was. There, there, Queen Emerelda. I'll think of something, even if it's lending you my gardener. He's quite good, you know. What? Huh? <laughs> That's it! Whitebeard's riddle! You'll find your quest is just the pits. It isn't the fruit, it's the pits. They're very special jewels. Observe. Well, I'll be deaf. Look at that, girls.
And there's an endless supply, enough to regrow the entire forest. You save the forest, walrus. That's Wally, Wally. Yeah, yeah. Come on, ladies. Let's give him a big forest woman. Thank you. How touching, eh, Wolf? Here, Wallbang. This is just a little token of our appreciation. Hey, where on earth is he? Where's Walding? A wallpaper. A wallaby. Where's what's his face? Where is Wallaby the Wally this time? Can you find him? Keep looking. There's Wally. Now I've got to go. I've got another job across town and the traffic is fierce. See ya. Where's Waldo? What do we care about after these messages? Built to last, it's a blast. Matchbox! Driving down the highway to Matchbox Motor City. Gonna help them build at the construction site. I'm gonna get my car fixed till it drives just right. Motor City! Motor City! Park a lot of cars, they go straight to the top. Down in Motor City, the fun doesn't stop. Motor City! Motor City, play sets sold separately. You put them together from Matchbox. Have you heard the Apple Sweet Crunch? The Apple Sweet Crunch that's great to munch is part of this complete breakfast. In Apple Cinnamon, Cheerio! Now you can get a Coleworks crayon stick from Crayola that actually erases. Free, along with a mystery game sheet. In specially marked boxes of Apple Cinnamon Cheerios. Colorworks Gram Sticks. You can collect all four, but this offer will disappear soon. There's something new in Gotham City. It's Batman! Like you've never seen him before. Figures and vehicles sold separately. Flashy Duds, Batman. My Tech Shield suit protects me. Even against this sludge, your poison can't hurt my Tech Shield suit. Bye, Batman. Think again, Joker. My Batcopter, fire! Yeah! Ah, where does it get these great weapons? You're finished, Joker. Batcopter, part of Batman, the Dark Knight collection. Tech Shield Batman and Joker sold separately. Hey, dudes, it's MMPC, the Micro Machines video channel. We've got drivers, classic chromos, and x-rays right here. If you're looking around for a new set of wheels, we got classic chromos, shiny bumpers, and grills. And x-rays, you can see the engine, too. Micro Machines, more styles for you. With someone inside, real looking dudes at the wheel for a passenger deal. Micro Machines, drivers, x rays, and classy Chromer's vehicle packs, each sold separately from Galoob. And now back to. Where's Waldo? Hit it. Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. Thank you. 
Put that on the fridge. Hey, Gonzo, get off my piano. Ooh, 300 points if I flatten this toadstool. Hey, that's my whoopee cushion. Nothing can stop the weirdo warrior. Wanna fetch? Huh? The Gonzo? You're driving us nuts. Oh, boy. We warriors are often misunderstood. Here, Fozzie. You're supposed to try and squeeze as many blocks as you can into the nursery. No, oh, no. Don't worry, Fuzzy. I'll fix it. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> All right, Skeeter, you saved him. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks, Skeeter. This pretendo game looks real safe. Um, gee, I, I don't know. Skateboard to Doom doesn't sound all that safe to me. Oh no! You're gonna love this one, Piggy. It's called The Legend of Imelda, The Quest for the Golden Key. What are you doing, Gonzo? Yeah, Fuzzy was playing a game. Of course he was, Kermy Wormy. But now Gonzo and I want to play our game for a while. You got a problem with that? A uh, problem? No, I, um, I don't see any problem. Good. You may start the game, Gonzo. All right. Now all you gotta do in this game is find the magic golden key. That sounds easy. Gonzo, what's going on? We'll never find the golden key now. You will if you know where to look. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, Gonzo, wait for me! The first place you have to look is here. The slippery, sleazy swamp of slime. What? Oh, you're good for chewy. Yeah, you 
you get to go through all kinds of weird and creepy worlds in this game. It's great! Ew! No way am I going through a slippery, sleazy swamp of slime! Yuck! I'll find another way to get that golden key. Ah! Out of my way, you! Whoa! Beaten Piggy is gonna be tougher than I thought! Oh no! A rascally round reptile of unusual size! Gosh, Gonzo, what are you gonna do? Yeah, those guys look dangerous. Oh, don't worry about a thing, guys. When I press this button here, I can shoot all the gumballs I need. Brown reptiles hate gumballs. <laughs> huh? Hey, you never told me that. You never asked. Babies will return after these messages. Huh. To remind your parents that Tuesday is Kids Night at Pizza Hut, try magic. Where did that go? Wow! And if that doesn't work, call Cousin Norman. <laughs> Make it a great. He's America's new movie hero. He's the Rocketeer. And now at Pizza Hut, you can get a Rocketeer Kids Pizza Pack with a single topping personal pan pizza, a Rocketeer cup and helmet, and a Rocketeer glider. All for $2.99 and only at Pizza Hut. I like it. Make it a great. What is real? Is that for real? Is he for real? That can't be real. What is real? Well, this is real. Skittles. Tart and tangy. Wildberry. Tropical. Real fun. Real good. With real fruit juices. Skittles. Bite-sized candies. Taste the rainbow. Come on, Liz. Pick out your cereal and let's get going. Coming. Oh, no. That kid took the last box of Kellogg's Corn Pops. Stay calm. Uh, sir, you're out of Corn Pops. Liz, just pick something. Pick something? I want my corn pops. Oh, I could be at home eating all the pops I want, but I'm stuck in the woods on some stupid family vacation, and that little weasel took the last box. Ah! Nice day. Yes, I love the woods. Kellogg's Corn Pops is part of this complete breakfast. I gotta have my pops. And now, back to Muppet Baby. <laughs> Help it! 
Gonzo? Well, uh, 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 500 points is a lot. You shouldn't have just let her fall like that. But she's got two more lives. Huh? One more step like that, Gonzo, and you'll wish you did, too. Come back here. Oh, boy. Now's my chance to play this neat looking sports video game. No way, sis. I want to play this neat video chess game. Come on, Scooter. That game isn't real sport. It's couch potato sport. Oh, okay. This one's even neater, especially when you use the Mighty Mac. Ta-da! Wow, how does it work? Beat me. Come on, let's try it. Neato! <laughs> Come on, Scooter. I don't know, Skeeter. I don't even know what I'm doing. That never stopped you before. <laughs> Here we go! Hey, Skeeter, we're not getting anywhere. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Hey, Fuzzy, you're going the wrong way. Uh -huh. Maybe not. Poor Fuzzy. I'm sure glad we don't have skateboarders chasing us. Uh -huh. I think I'd rather. the secret parachutes. Oh, just one of those little tricks of the trade that separates the pigs from the weirdos. How did I mean to separate your nose from your face? Ah, uh, remember, Piggy, it's not how you play the game. It's whether I win and you lose that counts. Ha! Gee, Rolf, you think Piggy and Gonzo would mind if I try the game? Frankly, I don't think they'll know the difference. Great! What game is it, Kermit? Um, the one with the frogs on the cover. Gosh, I wonder where all the frogs are anyway. Hey, whoa, hold on there, pal. Huh? You just fall off a turnip truck or something? Check this out. <laughs> You can say that again. I've been trying to get across there all month. Really? Gosh. Well, uh, have you tried this? 
You can never be too careful when crossing a busy street. I can't wait to see how you handle this next part. Well... Oh, boy. Whoa! That's a dangerous game, Kermit. Yeah. I think I need a little more practice with my whistle. Yeah. Last one there is a giant bird! Oh, Jesus. Can't we play chess now? Wow! Look out! Imagination, or does traffic seem a little heavy today? All right, now I can try out this cool detective game. I wonder how you play this. Wow! What's the matter, Fuzzy? Those skateboard racers keep following me, and I don't know why. Cool! Just the case I was looking for. The case of the chasing racers. The most important part of detective work, Fozzy, is to ask a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Could I ask you a question? I'll take that as a no. Gosh, I hope I can think of a question to ask. Yo, it's the bear. Let's get him, guys. Yay! <laughs> Gee, what happened to Fuzzy? Fuzzy, are you in there? But we've got to finish our game! Now! Huh? Whoa! Come on, Piggy. I was working on a big case. Uh, how about the case of the missing molars? Whoa, no thanks. Oops. Uh, yeah, I, I better get on that case right away. See ya! Come on, Gonzo! We've got a game to play! Muppet Babies will return after these messages. <laughs> Battling evil with his mighty crossbow, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. We're under attack! The evil sheriff from Nottingham stole our weapon. Did I hear my name? It's Robin Hood and Will Scarlet. Dark warrior, fire the bullet bomber. Look out! We still got another weapon, Sheriff. Fire the net launcher. Ah! The forest is safe again, for now. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Figures and accessories each sold separately. And have to be lucky charms. But thanks to me red balloon, I've made a clean getaway. Well, looky there, a shooting star, and it's heading this way. <laughs> a deserted island. Well, at least I can eat me lucky charms in peace. <gasps> wow, the marshmallow is delicious. Oh no, more kids. I've got to get away. But how? There's a big star-shaped hole in me balloon. Maybe there's an answer in me magic rainbow. Let's see. Moons, hearts, diamonds, stars. Oh, did I say stars? Magic rainbow, make a match. Turn that star into a patch. Take me away, star balloon. Whoops. Yay! Kids, now for the first time ever, it's a marshmallow inside a marshmallow. The star's in the balloon. Wow. Hmm, doubly delicious. It's the magical part of a complete breakfast. New in specially marked boxes of Lucky Charms. There are frozen treats coming down the street. It's raining sprinkles. It's Mickey's Parade. Mickey's Parade. Mickey's Parade is here. Now some parades go down the street. And some parades have marching feet. But who ever saw a parade you could eat? Mickey's Parade is here. 
can you find? All new Ninja action on your TV? Set it to the turtle frequency, dude. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here we come. Today on Kid TV. And now, back to the Muppet Babies. Oh. Oh.
This is a dangerous job, but I think I'm getting used to it. Yay! Don't go. More show. <laughs> Don't go away. We'll be right back. Muppet Babies will return after these messages. Big pieces, little pieces, masterpieces, Reese's pieces, head pieces, neck pieces, hair pieces, Reese's pieces, eye pieces, nose pieces, mouth pieces, Reese's pieces, three pieces, two pieces, one pieces, Reese's pieces, time pieces, center pieces, mantle pieces, Reese's pieces, chess pieces, gold pieces, silver pieces, Reese's pieces, the famous flavor of Reese's peanut butter in a fun candy shell, you'll love them to pieces. Hey, mate, what do you do when you're surrounded by crocodiles? You run, you slide, you hit the bump and take a dive. It's Super Crocodile Mile with a new high-speed air cushion bodyboard and super drencher spray. But watch out for the crocs. You run, you slide, you hit the bump and take a dive. Super Crocodile Mile with air cushion bodyboard and super drencher spray. New from Marshawn. Whoa! 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 This is CBS. It's all under the big top. It's gonna make your heart stop. Hot thrills, laughs, chills, come on everybody, let's go! Go into a big circus show! World famous acts, get the fine beats. It's to the one show that you gotta see. It's all under the big top. Charlie Rogers, he's there. Huh? What? Damn, damn. Whoa, I love those facts. Ooh, yum yum, I love them. Uh oh. Meow. Max, mm, are they good? Meow. <laughs> Dang this. <laughs> bye bye, kitty. Kellogg's Honey Smacks, part of this complete breakfast. I love my smacks. And now. Back to Muppet Baby. By the shores of Gitchy Gooby, by the Kitchy Coochie. Oh boy, is this a poem about tickling, Nanny? Mommy! <laughs> Whoa, sorry. That's better. Go on, Nanny. By the shining big sea water stood the wigwam of Nokomis. Wigwam? Teepee. Teepee? A kind of tent or house that Indians lived in. Oh! Daughter of the moon, Nokomis. Mammy, when we're done with Hiawatha, could we read the trapeze one? No way! Nanny's gonna read that spooky once upon a midnight scary one about the crow. <gasps> Me, huh? That's Raven, Gonzo. Yeah, that's him! Caw! 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 Nevermore. What? I said, uh, on the floor. I'm down, right here. See? Go ahead, Nanny. Read some more. At the door on summer evenings sat the little Hiawatha. Oh, isn't he adorable? Hiawatha? Huh? Oh, uh, hi, Piggy. Heard the whispering of the pine trees. Hey, who is this guy? Kind of green. Huh? Heard the lapping of the water. What? Sound of music, words of wonder. Sheesh. Mini Wawa said the pine trees. Mudway Aushka said the water. Mini Wawa. Mudway Aushka. Mini Hoo-ha? Muddy what? I think it's some kind of secret language. Secret language? Uh-huh. Mini Wawa Huh? Mini Wawa Hey, animal. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, what does all this mini muddy stuff mean anyway? Ooh, Mr. Mudpot isn't a robber. <laughs> I had to ask. 
daughter, Minnie Ha Ha, Laughing Water. Minnie Ha Ha? See, I knew there was something funny in this poem. The name's Piggy Ha Ha, Fuzzy. Minnie got a waitressing job in Florida. Sorry. Whoa! You may continue, Nanny. Handsomest of all the women. Handsome? Uh-huh. With feet as rapid as the river. Dresses flowing like the water, and as musical a laughter. <laughs> Minnie Ha Ha, laughing water. <sighs> no wonder Minnie moved to Florida. Gonzo, what are you doing here? I, my dear, am looking for a big scary bird called the Raven. Have you seen it? Here 
we go again. I know. Sometimes I'm so cute, it's sickening. Uh, Nanny, are you going to finish reading us Hiawatha? I'm afraid we'll have to wait just a few minutes longer, Kermit. Uh, Kermit, what is a Hiawatha? Hiawatha, Bean. It's a poem about a little Indian boy. Poem? It's like this, kid. Once upon a midnight scary... Gonzo! Ah, uh, I pulled a tooth and called the fairy. <laughs> now that was quick thinking. Woo. Huh? Really? The best kind of poetry is a romantic kind. Like, roses are red, creamy is green. Oh, boy. I wonder if they take baby frogs in the Peace Corps. He's the handsomest frog. But not as cute as Bean. Huh? How's that, Pete? Pretty good? Good. Is that a Hiawatha poem, Kermit? Um, not exactly. You see, Hiawatha is all about a little Indian boy who lives deep in the forest by the shores of some gooey goggy lake. And well, now what happens? Well, um, uh, let's see now, uh, by the shores of gooey goggy sat the wigwam of the froggy. Gosh, I don't see a wigworm, Kermit. Not wigworm, Bean. Wagworm, wigworm, wagworm, um, tent. Oh, well, where is it? Uh, well, I, uh, I have to build it. It's one of those things I have to do to earn my Indian Scout wigwam badge. So I will build a perfect teepee. How about chasing something creepy? Huh? What? No thanks, Gonzo. I'd rather stay here and finish my wigwam. Your what? My wig... My Native American dwelling. You guys go ahead. Okay, Beanie. Let's go. Right. What's that noise? The wiggling and the tingling of the bells. The bells. God, the bells. I thought it was the just bells. one bell. The bells. The bells. You mean that Mondo Mega Fruit Taste? Mm, yeah. Simple. Big Fruit! Mondo Mega Fruit! Yes, you'll love the humongous orange, gigantic lemon, and mammoth cherry flavors of Kellogg's Fruit Loops. Part of this complete breakfast. Wow! Kellogg's Fruit Loops. Big Fruit Taste from Big Fruit! Battling evil with his mighty crossbow, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. We're under attack! The evil sheriff of Nottingham stole our weapon. Did I hear my name? It's Robin Hood and Will Scarlet. Dark warrior, fire the bullet bomber. Look out! We still got another weapon, Sheriff. Fire the net launcher! Ah! The forest is safe again. For now. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Figures and accessories each sold separately. Stupid broken leg. When you need a special friend to brighten your day. Hi, Sam. Wanna play? Yeah. Ronald? Come on. Okay. Ronald, Ronald. He loves having fun. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ready or not, here I come. Who's your very own magical clown? Surprise! Ronald! Who's like nobody else around? Wow. Let's go fishing! Oops! Yes, Ronald's yes. the one! He loves having fun! It's a catfish! Hey, Sam! What? It's chow time! Cool! Who drew that? My friend!
And now, back to... Muppet Baby! As we wandered down the hall, tapping, rapping along the wall. Ooh, what are you doing, Conzo? Huh? Oh, I'm looking for secret passageways. These ravens can be very tricky, you know. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Oh? Hmm. Just a wall and nothing more. Uh-oh. What's the meaning of this intrusion? <laughs> huh? Uh, excuse us. We're looking for a big black bird. Have you seen one around here? A bird? Will he do? Never more. Never more. Nah, the bird I'm looking for is huge. Hmm, more like this? Ah, even bigger. Perhaps this will do. Ah, no thanks, son. Come on, Bean. Uh, let's keep looking. Oh, no. Please stay a while. I get so few guests here. And your little bunny friend is so cute. Thanks. In fact, he looks cute enough to eat. No, thanks. Whoa! Huh? Bean, is that you? Oh, Scooter, I don't think I like this poetry stuff very much. It's creepy. Oh, those things are just in Gonzo's poem. Other ones are really nice. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Look at this one. Now, don't be scared, Bean. This one's about a really nice shadow and the boy he belongs to. You want to hear it? No, thank you. I have a little shadow that goes in and out with me. And what can be, um, uh, the use of him is more than I can, uh, huh? Hey, what happened to my shadow? Over here, Scooter. Hi, Scooter. Hey, you're not supposed to be shadowing, Bean. You're my shadow. Yeah, I know. But this little guy is so darn cute, I just couldn't resist. He's right, you know. <laughs> I'm very, very like him from the ears down to his paws. Hey, cut that out. Oh, whoa. A button nose, some whiskers, and some funny bunny claws. Yeah. Hey, this isn't right. Stop it. Are you kidding? We never look so cute. I don't want to be cute. I want to be Scooter. Yeah, well, I want to be Bean Shadow, his only shadow. Oh, give a shadow a break, huh? You know how cute the little guy is. Adorable, actually. Quiet! Oh, I want him back. No. Yes! This kind of thing happens to me all the time. Yes. I call it no. the curse yes. of cuteness. No. Yes! No! Yes! No! Huh? Wow! Wait for us! This kind of thing happens to me all the time. I call it the bane of a bird prey. <laughs> Bean? Scooter? What's going on? Well, I was telling Bean a poem, but it got all messed up. Oh, it's easy to remember poems, Scooter. It is? Uh-huh. Poems are kind of like songs. You know, words said in a special order. Hey, Skeeter's right. With a rhythm, like this. Huh? Huh? A funny little bunny came over to play. We taught him how to rhyme with the things we say. We started real simple with a word like blue. The bunny made a rhyme, now we have a whole zoo. Blue? Zoo! Works every time. Things get crazy when you're making a rhyme. over today. He got mixed up. He got carried away. The kites were floating and the boats could fly. We ate lemonade and we drank a pie. Why? Pie! Works every time. Things get crazy when you're making a rhyme. Speaking of flying, have you found that bird? Watch out, Gunzo! Here comes a word! A rooster, a buzzard, a donkey with wings, a two-ton, three-headed dragon that sings. Party! 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 Kicking up sand, what do we do with this marching band? Sand, sand, works every time. Things get crazy when you're making a rhyme. Things get crazy when you're making a rhyme. Whoa! Things get crazy when you're making a rhyme. Whoa!
Muppet Babies will return after these messages. Cheerios proudly announces the return of Walt Disney's classic 101 Dalmatians at a theater near you. Will the Dalmatians and their friends escape the clutches of the evil Cruella de Vil? You can help them escape by playing the 101 Dalmatians maze game. It's one of six, free, and only inside special boxes of Cheerios, Honey Nut Cheerios, and Apple Cinnamon Cheerios. Part of your complete breakfast. They're doggone good, and they've been spotted at stores everywhere. To remind your parents that Tuesday is Kids Night at Pizza Hut, try magic. Where did that go? Whoa! And if that doesn't work, call Cousin Norman. <laughs> Make it a great! He's America's new movie hero. He's the Rocketeer. And now at Pizza Hut, you can get a Rocketeer Kids Pizza Pack with a single topping personal pan pizza, a Rocketeer cup and helmet, and a Rocketeer glider. All for $2.99 and only at Pizza Hut. I like it. Make it a great! Wedding Day Midge is getting married. Cool. Best friend Barbie helps her dress. Does she look fab? Oh, yes. Wedding Day Midge, here's your big moment. Do you take Alan? I do. <gasps> Alan, don't pee. Midge has a surprise. Her gown changes to a honeymoon outfit. <laughs> wow. Way to go. <laughs> wedding Day Midge doll has a wedding gown that changes into a honeymoon outfit. Dolls each sold separately. From Mattel. Lifesavers. <laughs> Lifesavers fruit juicers made with real fruit juice from great fruit juice taste. And Lifesavers candy. Isn't life delicious? Are Jack and Grandpa getting divorced? Your grandfather and I will solve this like two reasonable adults. It's an odd couple on Family Man. Monday. Back to Muppet Baby. Uh, oh my. What happened here? Um, I think someone tipped over your plant, Mrs. Nanny Lady. Someone like who, I wonder? Uh, oh, 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 oh. Oh, I see. Well, I guess it was Mr. Nobody. Oh? One of my favorite poems. I know a funny little child as quiet as a mouse who does the mischief that is done in everybody's house. There's no one ever sees his face, and yet we all agree that every plate we break was cracked by Mr. Nobody. Tis he who always tears our books who leaves the door ajar. He pulls buttons from our shirts and scatters toys afar. He smears the paint and spills the food. And then you come to me to make it all seem right again with help from nobody. Uh, Nanny, I guess I'm Mr. Nobody. Huh? Oh, I, I wish I'd never been born. Hold it, kids. I'm sure nobody did it on purpose. Now, why don't you go and play, and I'll come read you some more poems in a while. Okay? So, does that mean I did it, or I didn't do it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know... They just don't make teepees like they used to. Sheesh. Maybe I'll just work on my Indian Scout animal chasing badge instead. From his lodge went Kerma Wafa, dressed for travel, set for chasing. Joined he was by Bean the Bunny. Oh, oh yeah. Moccasins in need of lacing. <laughs> See? Oh, boy. You know, Kermit, so far I like your happy Waffa poem better than any other. <laughs> so far. So the fearless Kermit Waffa went into the dark woods bravely. What was that? Um, just the pine trees talking. 
Nothing to be scared of. What was that? That? Oh, that's just the water lapping. Still nothing to be scared of. What was that? Now that is something to be scared of. Where's the frog spirit, Bean? Oh. Uh, sheesh. But, um, um, uh, There was a young piglet named Ha-Ha. Huh? Who wanted to wed Kermawata. Oh, what a lovely poem, Fuzzy. Yes, well... She got presents galore, so I bought her one more. What? A chicken that says, Baka Baka. <laughs> I think this is how some bears became extinct. Ooh, Fuzzy, I'm gonna... Whoa! Wait! Hold that bird! Huh? Ah, uh, never mind. Too puny. Wait a second. Now this is more like what I'm looking for, see? Round, what? Oh boy. And that's how the entire weirdo species was wiped out. Huh, Kermit? <laughs> Change my mind, Kermit. I don't like your poem either. Way too dangerous. Gosh, Bean, all poems aren't dangerous. They can really be fun. Look! Heart, clap, fingers, clap. Colors, red, yours, head, blue, brown, upside down. In the morning, Ben is what got the white and green. She puts them in the bath tub to try and get them clean. Break a bag of waters and eat a bowl of coke. Tried to eat the bath tub, but it wouldn't go down itself. Excuse me. Whoa! I think I lost her, Kermit. The raven? No, Piggy. Very scary, you know. You're telling me. Hey, Bean, want to help me find that bird? Go on, Bean. Make it fun. Well, okay, Gonzo. Let's go. Where do we go, anyway? Some place with more character. Like... Once upon an attic dreary. Huh? Yeah, now this is more like it. A sunny place, all bright and cheery. Ah, uh, uh, let me try that again. Once upon a house that's spooky. Ooh, now we're talking. With Jasper, Bill, and my friend Pookie. Pookie? What is this? I don't think you understand, kid. We want this place to have atmosphere. You know, spooky, weird, scare our pants off. Got it? No. Okay. So let's try it again. Once upon a... a, a dungeon. Yeah, yeah, that's it. A dungeon dark. Suddenly, I heard some knocking. I said... Suddenly, I heard some knocking. <sighs> I'm just not getting a lot of cooperation today. And the sound of a big bird talking. Never more, never more. Aha, uh -huh. it's the big one. Ain't no blue jay. <laughs> I think this bird's just a little too big. Let's get out of here. Hey, Gonzo, I don't think he's so big. Huh? Camilla! Hi, kids. Hi, Hi Mary. Hi, Mama. Ready for some more poems? Oh, yeah. 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 Which one are you going to read first, Nanny? Well, I thought I'd read Gonzo, his favorite one about the big, scary bird. Okay, Gonzo? Oh, I don't think that'll be necessary, Mrs. Nanny. Look! Huh? I don't ever want to hear about that big bird again. How about you, Camilla? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, boy.
why is Monday as much fun as Wednesday? Because they both have all new fun with all new episodes of Family Man. So catch them both or you only have half the laughs. Family Man, Monday and Wednesdays on CBS. This is CBS. <laughs> Check out the Barbie Hawaiian ice party. <laughs> wow! Hawaiian Ice Party set comes with Kool-Aid and sweet and soft drink mix. You put it together, dolls each sold separately. <gasps> it's Layla. New kid. He's the fastest draw in town. I'm looking for some breakfast. Seen any? Appropriate location, partner. Hey, gracias, mi amigo. <laughs> now at Burger King. Archie cars. Let's go. Archie, Jughead, Betty and Veronica. You can collect a new one each week when you buy a kid's meal. You can't beat them. The Burger King Kids Club. Just for fun. Just for you. Watch out. New dinosaur suit. High five new dinosaur. Just for you. Delicious aura. Smooth for us. It's the aura. New dinosaur suit from Tampa. Come on. Uh. New dinosaur suit from Tampa. Triceratops and I'm T-Rex. Brontosaurus, Stegosaurus. Diplodocus can't stop us. Good fun for Campbell kids. I'm Bob Keeshan, and welcome to CBS Story Break. Today's story has such an interesting twist that I cannot tell you much about it without giving it away. But I can give you a clue. A boy named Walter wakes up in another world, one very much like our own, except... And that's what I cannot tell you. But I can tell you Walter's in for a real shock. Based on Steve Sen's book, here is The Double Disappearance of Walter Fosbeck. Rails, wake up! 
coming, Mother. And wake your cousin Walter up, too. Wake up, Walter. Come on, it's Saturday and we've got lots to do. Uh, okay, Ralph. Just let me finish putting this model together. the movies and see Attack of the Prehistoric Human. I heard it's really... Uh, 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 what are you? A human! Of course I am, but uh, what are you? What have you done with my cousin Walter? I am your cousin Walter. I mean, I'm a, a cousin Walter, but you're sure not my cousin Ralph. Turn after these messages. Mr. Turtle, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? I never made it without biting. Ask Mr. Owl. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Let's find out. One, two, three, three. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. It's Tootsie Go! When the lightning starts to flash, they'll protect you from the crash. They're the Toots Patrol. When a monster's on TV, you can say, you don't scare me, I've got Pooch Patrol. Don't let those cute faces fool you. With a flip of the lip, the Pooch Patrol goes from friendly to fearless. My favorite nephew! When you're on your side, you don't have to hide, you're protected by the Pooch Patrol. Pooch Patrol, from Tonka, each sold separately. I see you the box that rolls! Wants me trick Fred? Hey Fred, wanna play my new picture game? Sure. I, I love, I love my fruits. Uh, fruity, I love fruity pebbles. I love fruity pebbles. So do I. Barney! <laughs> you got the picture. Coke fruity and cocoa pebble cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. The rubble rocket, the Flintstone Ace. Who better I cause? Rev them up and watch them race. Yeah. One in mock boxes of pebbles. You put them together. And now, back to CBS Storybreak. This... this can't be real. I've got to be dreaming. Okay, let's be calm. Let's review the situation. My cousin Walter is spending the weekend with me. I wake up, go brush my teeth, come back, and he's a... a human! you uh we'll be right down in alice well hurry up your pterodactyl eggs are getting cold pterodactyl eggs sure we always have pterodactyl eggs on saturday i don't understand what's going on that's what i want to know that's super sore he's my favorite It's all changed. No, it hasn't. It's always been like this. You changed. You better get away from that window before someone sees you. You might start a panic. What do you mean? Humans all became extinct millions of years ago. You're the only one left. I'm the only one? I don't get it. What happened to the humans? 
Maybe we can find something in the library that can tell us. But first, we've got to build you a disguise. How do we do that? Leave it to me. I know just the thing. This ought to do it. There you are. It's about time. Now eat your breakfast before it gets any colder. Here you are. Uh, uh, we're not hungry, Mother. We've got to get to the library. Nonsense. Growing dinosaurs need a good breakfast. The library will still be there. Astrosaurs land space shuttle? Be sure to eat all your mammal patties, Walter. on prehistoric humans? Yes, we do. But Dr. Henningglass is using all of them at the moment. Librarian! Can't you keep this little pest away from me? I can't concentrate on my research. Aren't there any other copies of those books? Well, the author, Dr. Crabnickel, lives just across the park. He might show you his copies. If you're polite. Ralph, I think Dr. Hemmenglass saw my horn start to... Wait a minute, Walter. I want to get a Petricola. <laughs> want some? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> Come on, let's go talk to Dr. Crabnickel. <laughs> Are you sure this is a good idea, Ralph? No, but I don't have any better ones. Yes, what can I do for you lads? Well, sir, I'm Ralph Fosbeck, and my cousin Walter here has a problem. I don't know how to explain this, but... My dear boy, you've been injured. What happened to your tail? Oh, no. It must have fallen off. Come along quickly. This requires medical attention. <laughs> Lucky for you that I am a doctor. You don't understand, Dr. Krebnickel. I'm not hurt. I'm a human. Whoa! <laughs> Bless my dinosaur soul! This is incredible! Where did you come from? That's what I want to know. Where did I come from? And how can I get back there? You must let me help you. Every scientist dreams of an opportunity like this. Now, where did I put that book about prehistoric humans? I, I know I left it here somewhere. Dr. Krebnickel, it's up here. Well, of course it is. After all, I wrote it, didn't I? Of course it's up here. Oh, <laughs> here it is. Excuse 
me for interrupting, Kremnikov. You and I have nothing to say to each other, Hemingglass. I, I'll never forgive you for stealing my research. Tut, tut, Krebnikel, you should rise above such petty grudges. I just followed your young friends here because one of them left something at the library. I'm sure the young lad has quite a tale to tell. One which I hope to hear quite soon. Oh, I despise that tubby tyrannosaur. He's the most unscrupulous... Um, uh, uh, well, never mind. Come along, you two. Let's go to my lab. Hmm, that's interesting. You're right-handed. Most people are left-handed, you know. No, they're not. Most people are right-handed. Are you arguing with me? I'll, I'll have you know that I have more degrees than a th thermometer. Now, I have a hunch about how to help you, but I need you both to fetch a book on astronomy from the, the, the library. Now, let's get that tail taped back on you. Is it always this hot, Ralph? No, sometimes it's hotter. Just a minute, before I melt. Walter, are you sure you want to do that? Relax, there's not a dinosaur in sight. Look, it's a, it's a human. Look out. Look out. Look out. Look out. Look out. Get back to Dr. Kremnickel's house. We're in for it now. Look on the bright side. At least things can't get any worse. I was right. You are a human. My human. I'll exhibit you throughout the world. <laughs> we'll return after these messages. This is CBS. Behold the fair Princess Gwendolyn. Of course, I wasn't always as glamorous. You see, a long time ago in a kingdom far away, I was playing this new game called Pretty Pretty Princess. It was my turn, and I got the royal earring, the necklace, the ring, and I got the crown. And boom! Here I am, Pretty Pretty Princess Gwendolyn, and the ruler of the entire universe. New Pretty Pretty Princess, the jewelry dress-up game from Golden. My Little Pony Girls just love the My Little Puppy, My Little Kitty, and My Little Bunny family. I keep my mommies with their babies close to me and to my heart. You're so absolutely beautiful, I loved you from the start. You're the pretty little family that I've been dreaming of. You're the ones I love. Each family comes with a beautiful mommy and two little babies to love. You're the ones I love. You, My Little Puppy, My Little Kitty, and My Little Bunny family, each sold separately. The family reunion. Pretty soon you'll be taller than your sister. One of the highlights of adolescence. Oh, look at you. <laughs> that family picture time. Cool. Starburst with real fruit juice. And now, back to CBS Story Break. <laughs> this should 
keep you out of mischief. I'll call the media, television, radio, the press. Everyone will want to see the only surviving human in the world. I'm going to be a freak, a sideshow. I'll never see Mom and Dad again. It's still not right. I'm missing some vital catalytic agent. Of course! Horseradish! Dr. Krebnickel! Dr. Krebnickel! Dr. Krebnickel, he's gone. I couldn't stop him. I told him not to take off his helmet. He grabbed him with his tail. Calm down, calm down, relax. Whatever it is, we'll fix it. Ah, that's better. Now, what's wrong and where's Walter? That's what's wrong. Dr. Hemingglass has kidnapped him. Ah, there, you see? There's no reason to panic just because Dr. Hemingglass has kidnapped Walter? Oh, no! This is a, a disaster! That terrible Tyrannosaur! What are we going to do? Calm down. We've got to figure out a way to get him back. Of course. Now, let me think. Hmm. I must keep working on the mystery of Walter's origin, so it's up to you to try and free Walter. But how am I going to rescue Walter? I mean, Dr. Hemingglass has probably got alarms and all kinds of security. This will short-circuit the alarms and the electronic locks. Just be careful of the watch gators. Oh, watch gators? Oh, terrific! <laughs> Feeding time, you hairy little beast. I've done some research into what young humans ate. It's pretty disgusting, I must say. Mm. Bon appetit! Yuck! What's this? A peanut, butter, and jello sandwich, of course. My books say it's your favorite food. when they're mad. Arr! Arr! <laughs> hey, take it easy, human. I'm sure we can work something out. Arr! 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 
yeah, yeah, now, just relax, human. Uh, I was only kidding. Uh, 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 whoa! That's showing them, Walter. Come on, that branch goes over the wall. Let's get out of here. I'll get that little monster. Let me go. I'm chasing a runaway human boy. Oh, really? And I suppose you're going to tell us he was on that bicycle you were chasing. Yes, yes, exactly. And he's getting away. You're the one who got away, buddy. I think you better come with us. Wait, stop. I tell you it was a human boy. The chance of a lifetime. You can't do this. I was so close. Well, Walter helped. You got here just in time. The answer is as simple as can be. It seems there's a world just like ours in another dimension in which humans, not dinosaurs, evolved to take over. Then I'm not the only human left. I'm just in the wrong world. Exactly! A mirror world, which explains why you're right-handed instead of left-handed. You see, the Earth is lined up with the galactic axis, something that only happens twice every 200 million years. At that moment, a black hole opened up between your world and ours. And you switched places with your dinosaur double. But how do I get back? Ah, don't you see? Since the Earth rotates, we will be lined up once more. All you have to do is be in the same place, doing exactly the same thing 12 hours later, and you'll be returned to your human world. That's terrific, Dr. Kremnikal. How much time do I have? Exactly 10 minutes! Let's get going! Remember, Walter, you must do whatever you were doing this morning or it won't work! Good luck! We can't take a chance on my mom and dad seeing you without your disguise. We've only got two minutes left. What were you doing when it happened, Walter? I can't remember. Wait a minute. I was putting the head on that model. Oh, terrific. We've got one minute to put it back together. Thanks, Rob. You're the best cousin anybody ever had in any world. Ten, nine, eight. Kids, dinner's ready. Aunt Alice, oh no. Walter, your snake burgers are getting cold. Uh, just a second, Aunt Alice. Three, two, one. Of course. 
course it's Walter. Who else would it be? Now come on before I give those hamburgers to the dog. Sure thing, Aunt Alice. I'm as hungry as a dinosaur. Wait till I tell you what was here today. Let me guess. Was he about my height? With gray scales, three horns, beady black eyes, and tennis shoes? We'll return after these messages. Nobody throws a party like Play-Doh. Nobody makes a present like Play-Doh. Nobody has feelings. Crossing a present with a bow. A candle so you can make a wish and blow. Birthday fun from Play-Doh. Nobody makes ice cream fun like Play-Doh. Nobody makes silly faces and hats like so. They're ice cream people in ice cream cones. Silly scoops from Play-Doh. Birthday fun, silly scoops, and rainbow packets sold separately, only from Play-Doh. A new peanut butter crunch egg with... Oh, a peanut butter weasel! Peanut butter! He's eating it all! He's just excited about a better taste, and news like that you don't keep under your hat. Peanut butter crunch! Now it's even better and part of a balanced breakfast. My Cap'n Crunch magic puppets are so magical and amazing that you're the only one who knows. Yeah. How does he do it? How it works. Put a four magic puppets in each specially marked box of Cap'n Crunch cereal. And now back to CBS Storybrick. Dinosaurs may be gone, but not forgotten, thanks to our museums and libraries. And speaking of libraries, if you liked Walter Fosbeck, the Library of Congress thinks you'd enjoy these other books, too. Dinosaurs, A Lost World by Keith Mosley, and Fat Men from Space by Daniel Manis Pinkwater. Your local library and bookstore will help you read more about it. And be sure to join us next time for another CBS Story Break.